And most of the time, unapata watu na waste so much time. Ume Focusing on the channel as Jaira. Instead of the source, who is God, as Jehovah Jaira. And you see, once this man got that revelation, mm -hmm. yeah, in two and a half years, alikuwa mimaliza madeni, amenunua eka 55 ya shamba, akajengia familia yake. Yeah. Hii, na hii ilikuwa story ya zamani, ilikuwa 80s up or 90s. Uh -huh. Mbaka time. ilifika wakati mungu wa sasa fungue kanisa. Ufundisha wa, wa, watu wangu, uh -huh. hizi kingdom laws ambazo mina kufundisha. Jia meipata real life. Sasa leo vile tunongea, yes. akona mbege mbili. What? <laughs> Corporate jets. Yes. Mbili. Na si kanisa imenunua, ni biashara zake zimemunulia. From no food to owning two aeroplanes. Wazo, unjua tu ndenge kwanza pilot unamlipa pesa ngapi. Just imagine. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. So he got From that revelation. From being a slave, running after money, looking for money, hustling. Mungu anamambia apana. Uh -uh. You look up to, look unto me. I am your source. I am your source. So, ata mungu waka mfundisha about, vitu, uh, about sowing mm -hmm. and reaping. Mm -hmm. Mungu waka mfundisha about tithing. You know, at the area of giving. Unaona? Yeah. Uh, in Mark 10, mungu wana, Jesu anasema, whatever you lose in my name, even if it's houses, or even fathers and mothers whatever and brothers, and whatever it is, you will receive a hundredfold. Yes. Sasa me generally in the kingdom, when I'm giving, I expect a hundredfold return. Ata mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nasema Lord, I sow by faith. And I'm expecting a hundredfold return. Sababu wewe ndi umesema kwa neno lako, <laughs> ya kwamba utanipatia a hundred percent return. Mm -hmm. That's true. In fact, you know, it is disobedience to give and not expect a return. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu, Biblia ndi yenasema. Yeah. Sowing and reaping will never cease. Mm -hmm. Utapata marudisha tu. Isn't it? Mm -hmm. And God, ana provide seed to the sower and bread for, for food. Yeah. So, sasa shida ni pia sengine watu wanakuna mbegu. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, so there are principles of the kingdom and of finances that we have to follow. Yeah. But the beginning, mali tunazia, mm -hmm. ni kujua, what is our source? Is my, so, my employer, wacha sasa niseme vizuri. Yes, please. Hey. My employer is not my source. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Aha. They are not my source. They are a channel. That appointed for a season to provide for me in that particular season. Ah, Nani? Ah. For a season. For a season. Tuache kukapo tunasema hini ya uh, forever. It is for a season. Your employer. Acha, is it that camera? <laughs> your employer <laughs> is not your source. <laughs> God is your Jehovah Jireh. Oh yeah, you can look at this one. This your one. business yeah. is not your source. <laughs> it is a channel appointed for a season. So, mungu waneza kakupatia biyashara, mm -hmm. na baada ya miaka tatu iishe. Wow. Usienze kulia, ukizema, oh, mungu unaona, sasa ona, eh, apana, ni graduation, anasema, eh. sasa tutoke kwa Ravens, na Brook to, there is a, someone I have prepared for you. Sasa ni chapati, eh, with a roof over your head. Juzasa mm -hmm. likuwa naishu kwa wilderness. Eh. I, I'll graduate. Yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. And, another channel. In fact, if you go now to chapter 18, mm -hmm. it's very interesting. Kuna wakati Elijah melala kwa broom tree, an angel appears to him. Yeah. Anambia amka ukule. Mm. Anakuta, in fact, Bible inasema, a cake baked on coal. Mm. Ah, nikasema, ndenda kuliza my wife. Oh. Cake baked on coal ni gani yo? Yeah. It sounds <laughs> very exotic. Yeah. Cake baked on coal and water. Yeah. Akakula, akakula, la tena kamusho, hey, ndiyo ingine, kula. <laughs> <laughs> that, so was, source. that was another channel that God appointed. Yeah. So God is the source. He sends an angel. Angel. Peleke ule msipu. It's a channel to ask which Shika. ujama. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. So if you again, you cannot. If you are, if God is not your source, you are serving mammon. Now I have Boom. realized that now God is my source. Yes, right? yes. And I should not, you know, even as I do what I'm doing mm. here, yes, yes. This particular season, yes. Yeah. Yeah. God, I'm going my channel. Yes, yeah. To get whatever I'm talking of a precision that I'm getting. Yes. No. Nime realize ya kwamba ye ndiye source. Yes. What am I going to do now as a believer mm. so that I may be able to receive from him? Aha, very good. Ama kwa sababu, kuna mm. mtu ambaye atajua, mm -hmm. ya yeah, baidotu ila mduwa God ndiye source. Yes. And that's the end of the story. Yes. It's yes. just yes. Yes. knowing that God is the source enough yes. Yes. or there's more that mm. should be done. Ah, thank you very much. The first is acknowledging God. Mm. Unajua, ata biblia nito wabia, you be, believe in your heart, and confess with your mouth. Yes. Then a transition happens. Uh -huh. So when you want to start tapping into spiritual laws, mm -hmm. unanza na imudomo. Kwa unanza na kurepent. In fact, we believers, we need to repent for serving the spirit of mammon unknowingly.
Mm. Unajua shetani ni very cunning. Mm -hmm. Eh, wewe unafikiria tu ni kawaida kumbe kuna allegiance ambayo unapea shetani. Eh. Naye Mungu anasema mimi na shetani hatuwezi fanya the same thing. Ah. Hatuwezi kuwa mahali pamoja. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo hapo pa pesa hiyo ni sawa wewe. Huku kwingine umeniaminia mimi nitaendelea kukubali unknowingly out of ignorance. You start by repenting and yeah. telling God, Lord forgive me. Mm -hmm. I am sorry that I focused on the channel as my provider. Yet you are my Jehovah Jireh from now henceforth. I make you my source. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am na yani like that. E manen salaries, jobs, businesses, parents and everything. Yeah. I acknowledge them as channels that God has provided. Yes. Yeah. So from now henceforth, yeah. I will apply faith. Faith imani. Nitaamini Mungu mm -hmm. for all my provisions. Do you know committee it will get to a point where Hata sa ile kazi iko karibu kuisha Mungu ndio atakuwa anakuambia. Mm. Anakuambia hii mm. brook uh, ina iko karibu kukauka mm -hmm. na nakupeleka mahali pengine. There is somewhere else. You know? But and it can't happen if we mwenyewe mm -hmm. hauko connected to God because most believers the first ikisha kauka yes. unasema ai mimi hata nimewaacha. The first connection is God. Yes. Ukishaomba you have to walk and demonstrate mm -hmm. hii imani ambayo yuko nayo. Mm -hmm. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. No, the, you know that everything I have belongs to God because he is my source. Sasa hata Mungu akikwambia eh nataka uwe una tithe 10% hata ungangani <laughs> unatoa tu unatoa tu yeah. sababu this man is not your source your source is god ndio sasa acha 10% 10% na samanga ni ya baby christians <laughs> sababu kuna level inafika Mungu anakupea pesa anasema mm, kwa hiyo pesa eh. 70% Nataka kwanza utai eh, uso hii 70% of the rest yeah. nataka upeleke mahali fulani kwa kanisa fulani mm -hmm. unijengee sasa hiyo ni ya hiyo ni ya people tunaitaka kingdom financiers mm -hmm. sasa wale watu ambao Mungu ameita kingdom finances yeah. and those are multi billionaires yes. they may not even look like it but hapo ndio Mungu anawapeleka mm -hmm. are you getting what i'm saying yeah. yes. but there, ukijua hii pesa niko nayo sio yangu ni ya Mungu mm -hmm kila kitu ni ya Mungu mm -hmm. hata hii kazi ni ya Mungu that's why the bible says kama unafanya kazi work as unto the lord not work as unto your boss uh -uh. Mm. na ni new testament mm. nasema hivyo yeah. <laughs> why are you working as unto the lord yeah. kwa sababu ni Mungu unatazamia mm -hmm. okay mshahara imekuja asante bwana kwa huu mshahara hii channel imekuja bwana ni wewe umenitwalia hii yes are you getting what i'm saying that's the revelation that most people have not that yet that is the revelation that most people do not know Haven't when jesus says come by all you who don't have money yeah. for me one of the interpretations niati you can live a lifestyle yeah. that is not equivalent to your salary lifestyle that, that, that is not is equivalent, not equivalent to your salary. salary like as in i'll uh -huh. give you an like example same, yeah. Yeah. kuna wakati eh, tumehamia mahali mm -hmm. na tu, mahali tulienda tulikuwa tunaishi kwa plot fulani mm -hmm. yes. in, a, in a flat mm -hmm. it was a fairly nice flat mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Na mke wangu akakaa akasema pana mimi nataka nyumba ambayo imesimama. Sasa mimi nikamwambia tukiangalia mshahara tayari ile tunalipa hapa. Tukitafuta nyumba imesimama hii mshahara si tutakuwa nalipa like half. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Akaniambia pana Mungu tayari ameniongelesha. Nikamwambia kama Mungu amekuongelesha ni hivyo ndio iko na ni yeye ndio anatutualia hii. We go with it. Within a month we went we found a very big home almost twice the size of nyumba tulikuwa tunaishi. Yeah. yeah. Now the strangest thing the rent ambayo walikuwa wanatulipisha is the same as what we are paying in the other house. Na hii ni twice. This is twice the size. Paka tunauliza, "Eh, kwa ni nini nini?" Ati ah, mwenyewe unajua kwa America na imekaa sana kabla ipate mtu. Sasa yeye so, aliamua tu kushukisha rent, akasema, "Hii rent half." <laughs> Shukweli. Eh. Hey. Sasa vile alisema tu half na sizi ndio sasa hiyo tume tumepata nyumba. Hata tulikuwa wa kwanza ilikuwa nyumba mpya. Tulikuwa wa kwanza kuingia kwa hiyo kwa hiyo nyumba. Hey. Majirani wetu wanalipa twice the rent ambayo si watu nalipa. What do you mean? I'm telling you. Hiyo ni wakati tulikuwa tukilipa sasa siku hizi maneno ya rent tumesha toka kwa rent. But hizo siku ambazo tulikuwa kwa rent. So I was living in a house that my salary couldn't afford. True. But God provided. But God it. made it possible. God made it possible. Because he was because the source, not because a God was my source. God was my source. <laughs> you are living in a house. In fact, <laughs> I'm telling you, I've worked for over 20 years yeah. in different jobs. <laughs> okay, wacha niseme kitu ambayo will shock you. Yeah. Do you know I've never looked for a job? I've never tamaked. Never. Hey. I have never tamaked. And eh. I always get choice jobs. Always. Uh -huh. Do you know how? When I finished high school, Mm. I did ministry for about two years. Okay. After high school. Mhm. Mm ministry in evangelism. In evangelism okay. kwa mashule tunahubiri watoto wanakoka na, mm. na and you really know God really was glorified. I saw hundreds and thousands of kids giving their lives to Jesus. Yes. Wakati mmoja nikauliza Mungu, have you called me to the pulpit or to the marketplace? Akaniambia I've called you to the marketplace. Nikasema aha. 
kama ni market place huko yeah. nasikia kuna hitajika ma godfather 